Turning now to your community focus with snow on the horizon, the Washington Bridge still closed and a new year just getting underway. There is a lot to talk about with Providence Mayor Brett Smiley. Mayor, thanks for being here. Happy to be here. Happy New Year. Thank you. Same to you. So let's start with the snow. Yeah. It's been a while since we've seen some measurable snow. There could be some on the way for this weekend. We've heard in the past that some municipalities are struggling to find plow drivers. Is Providence ready to clear the streets? We are ready. Uh, the Providence fleet, you know, we use a combination of city trucks mm -hmm. and private vendors. Providence fleet is in good condition. All of our drivers are ready and prepared. They've been training for months and our private vendors, uh, we've recruited as many as we need for the season. We're ready for whatever mother nature might throw at us. Sounds good. Okay, I wanna shift gears a little bit. Uh, Dan McGowan from the Boston Globe reporting this morning that people ha may have to pay a new tax on PC Friars games and parking in Providence. So what should we know here? So the city council uh, commissioned a special committee on taxation to look at ways to balance the city's budget for the years to come. Okay. Right now, we, like most municipalities in Rhode Island, are heavily dependent on property taxes. And for a place like Providence, which one, we have a proliferation of tax-exempt large nonprofits and government, and two, a lot of people who don't live to Providence come to Providence mm -hmm. and enjoy nightlife, entertainment, dining, and such. So the commission made a series of recommendations, some of which were non-property tax ways to bring in revenue to the city. Okay. And so we're gonna take a hard look at those recommendations. Uh, this was a council-driven commission, but we participated. We're gonna look at those. Some of them might be incorporated into this year's budget. Some of them might include legislative changes that are necessary at the State House. Uh, but it's good to have options, and I think all of the residents and property taxpayers in Providence would appreciate us W lessening our dependence on property taxes. How much are we talking here in terms of what people would see added to their ticket price or maybe to a parking meter or something? So like that? things like an admissions fee, which happens in other municipalities mm. around the country, are often like a dollar per ticket, okay, uh, or similar to a sales tax, where it's a percentage on the price. Uh, it's not a it's not a huge amount. But when we sell fourteen thousand tickets to a game at the Amp, or you know, nearly 10,000 tickets to a PPAC show, mm -hmm. that adds up for the city. And those are people who come to our community, who enjoy and appreciate the police protection that they receive and the public safety services, the public work services, to have a clean, safe downtown to come enjoy. We gotta pay for that somehow. And, uh, and so this is a way for us to look at diversifying revenue for the city. Let's talk about the Washington Bridge. Those, uh, the westbound side is still closed. Yes. Traffic is still pretty bad, uh, backed up on the 195 westbound side coming towards Providence. Henderson Bridge, much improved. I've traveled it myself. Are you satisfied with the current state of things and the impacts on your city? Uh, I think given where we are, yes, I am satisfied. They, they got the bypass opened mm -hmm. quickly, much faster than originally promised. I have uh, had regular conversation with the governor and the DOT director to have confidence that they are working on the permanent fix as fast as they can, and uh, and you're right, traffic is still slow, and uh, and we know that's a burden on families yeah. and on people trying to get to work, uh, and it's still heavier than it used to be in Wayland Square and coming through Providence. Mm. Uh, Providence police are still out there helping, not quite as heavily a presence as we used to have we had to reserve some of the resources we were spending on that, um, but uh, we're doing everything we can, and I'm confident that the state is working as quickly as they can on the, on the real fix. You've got a new community satisfaction survey that you're launching this week. Yep. How and when can people give you their thoughts? So we did this last year for the first time. We're gonna do this every year, so for two reasons. One, so we can compare if we're getting better or worse and hold ourselves accountable, mm -hmm. and two, because it informs the decisions we made. A lot of the, the details from that survey last year informed that budget, this survey is going to inform this budget. Mm. And so there'll be a statistically valid poll that takes place starting this Friday. People might get phone calls or text messages okay. to participate. And then we have a business survey that's launching online this Friday. It'll be up for a month. It's in approximately six languages. Wow. And that's for a chance for you to tell us how we can support your business, big or small, in the city of Providence to grow in the years to come. It's a new year. 2023 was your first year in office. Any New Year's resolutions for 2024? So I think I came into office, you're talking about a snowstorm, thinking that snowstorms are what makes or breaks mayors. <laughs> and what we dealt with all year was flooding. Yeah. And so um, our resolution is to get much more serious about resiliency mm. and at climate adaptation in the city of Providence. It is undeniable that we are feeling the effects of climate change mm -hmm. and we need to get serious fast. And so that is my administration's resolution for this year. Fabulous. All right, Providence Mayor Brett Smiley, thanks so much for being here at four. Thanks, Kim.